Got an interesting question for you today. Which one's best for home defense? I'm sitting here with Benvolio, my HKP30 lamp. I've got my MR556A1 uh, rifle, and I've got a Beretta 1301 shotgun. Which one's better for home defense? Let's talk about it. Today's video is brought to us thanks to the generosity of LuckyGunner.com. Check them out for all your ammunition needs. So when we start talking about home defense, I get this question all the time. Pistol, shotgun, rifle. And the answer is, it depends. It depends on a lot of things. So let's talk about the strengths and the difficulties of each. Pistol, what's the advantage of a pistol? Well, this is my concealed carry gun. So this is a gun that I carry with me every day. Hopefully, as a concealed carrier, this is the gun I'm probably best with. This is the gun that I probably have spent the most time behind and I have the most confidence in. The disadvantages, of course, is that handguns are not particularly adept at stopping bad guys. I'm gonna have to put a lot of rounds in him and I'm gonna have to hope for the best. And I only have two points of contact. So if I set this down, when I drive that gun out there, guess what? I only have one, uh, you know, both hands on the gun, so two points of contact. So that makes it more difficult to aim accurately and do the work. So let's put this one away for now. So a lot of people choose instead to use a home defense carbine. And there's some real value to a home defense carbine. Couple things here. Number one, this has a low power variable optic on it, or you can run a red dot on it. So it's very fast to get to the target. Uh, part of that is, is that I put this in my shoulder crease and I have extra points of contact on the gun because I put my cheek on there. I get extra con control with the gun. It's also easier. Not a lot of people put a white light on their CCW gun, but a, a white light's real easy to mount to a, uh, a rifle so I can get that out there and put some light on things in a hurry. It also shoots a higher velocity projectile and is easier to be accurate at speed with. So this as a home defense tool, if it's possible, if it's legal where you are, is superior to a pistol. Now that said, what happens here is, uh, is that in the war on terror, what we found is, is they used to a long time ago teach the double tap, but they don't really teach a double tap anymore. Uh, all the modern warfare schools that I've seen and all of the soldiers coming home from kicking doors that I know of, talk about putting five minimum in somebody that needs to get shot, put a whole lot to the everywhere because the 5.56 round is not particularly adept at stopping either and people get amped up and they can do crazy stuff. So they recommend putting five in somebody in a hurry. Now some folks, disdain the shotgun, but I would say that the shotgun as a defensive tool is making a bit of a renaissance. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, optics, right? Because uh, in many places, if you shoot somebody with an AR-15, now you're gonna be in the news as using an assault weapon and there's all kinds of those problems. Whereas if you get somebody with daddy's shotgun uh, or a lever gun or something like that, you don't have those optics problems. We've had shotguns in the United States since our inception. And so, uh, you know, having this as your home defense gun, when you shoot somebody with a 12 gauge, you're not gonna have those optics problems. Couple other things here, properly set up, this can be very fast. And finally, one of the big things with that here, if you watch the previous video on patterning a shotgun, with the right load, uh, what you've got here is you've got maybe eight pellets of double op buck going downrange at the same time which is really at home defense distances, pretty much the equivalent of eight shots from your carbine. So this guy can be very fast to have an incapacitating shot. So let's test how long it takes us to get a couple of rounds on target with this versus five rounds on target with our carbine. See which one ends up being more effective as a man stopper in home defense situations. Okay, let's start by getting some shots on target with our carbine. Again, we're at 10 yards here. Uh, we want to be moving this carbine at a pretty quick pace. We're going to go from a low beep. I'm trying this Commander, AMG Labs Commander, for the first time. I haven't done any uh, first shots on it. So let's just kind of see what it takes us to get high center mass hits. And we're going to go with that military doctrine of five shot center mass. We'll see how this does for us here. Okay. From the low ready, standing by. All right, let's go down, check it out. So I slung one a little bit high, put four in the center mass. Let's see how long. So my first shot on this one was at 0.81, uh, uh, 0.79 actually, and 0.99 and 111. So I was shooting pretty quick, but you could see I put five holes, at least in something resembling anatomical significance here. Let's go and check the shotgun and see how we do with that. Now the defensive shotgun. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna bring this shotgun up and get a couple of, of hits, high center chest, uh, this target here, I've got a couple of shots from some earlier stuff that I was doing with the carbine, but let's see how we do in getting 16 pellets on target with this guy. All right, let's get back to this. Okay. 
Well, I think that was kind of definitive. Let's take a look. Two shots in 1.03 seconds. Shot number one was 0.67, which means my second one was about three tenths. And you can see my two shotgun shots there. Uh, and I got 16 pellets in there in that kind of time frame. So what does this mean for us? Um, well, I mean, this isn't bad, guys. And I've taken more time with the carbine than I have with the shotgun in terms of a student. But which one is going to put more mass on target and have a better chance of affecting a bad guy right now? Given that, now wait a minute, you might say, hey on John, the problem is, is you've only got five rounds in here, but you've got 30 rounds in here. However, if I pull the trigger five times here, and I got five hits, and I pulled the trigger two times here, and I got 16 hits, then if I got eight hits every time I pull the trigger, eight times five is 40 pellets, Whereas here, if I have a standard capacity magazine, I have 30 grand total. So I can actually, with the shotgun, put more shots on target, more pellets on target, much, much, much more quickly than I can with the carbine. Now, am I saying that a carbine isn't a good home defense tool? No, not at all, but I'm getting really feeling like a good home defense shotgun for the average American might be the choice if I can get a good semi-auto gun like this. Which one's right for you? Hey, you gotta decide. You may still choose. Man, my home defense carbine is what I want. For me and for mine right now, what is set up at home, this Beretta 1301 is my home defense tool of choice.